Hello and welcome to Principles of Macroeconomics, so Econ 202. I'm going to do this intro video for both the live and the online class, so I'm going to kind of address both issues for you. And uh, we're going to talk about the, the class, what it's like, what to expect. We're going to talk about the weekly assignments. We'll also talk about the term project that we're going to do this term. And finally, we'll talk about uh, the exams and extra credit opportunities during the term. So, so this class, if you're taking it uh, online, it's, it's pretty straightforward. I try to put out a lot of uh, videos and support information for you as you're doing that. If you're taking the class live, this class is going to be set up uh, as a flipped class. And what that means is the, the, uh, the main uh, lecture component, right, and the studying and all of that, it's going to be done outside of class. So I'm going to have lecture videos and things for you to watch in the unit. So there's going to be three units in the class. Each unit has a certain amount of chapters. And in the units, in the chapter folders, there's going to be videos available, both live and online. Uh, for the online class, I also include um, some other support videos for the workout problems that, that uh, you'll be doing as well. So anyway, so that's, that's kind of how it's set up. So that's what the flip classroom is for the live uh, students is it's going to be all the lecture and preparation is going to be outside of class. In class, we're actually going to be doing the workout problems in class together. So that's that's how it that's how it is. Um, the, with this class, it's going to be a little different for for um, for everybody. There's going to be a uh, open textbook that's that we're going to use for the class. So the open textbook is, has a free online version. I give you a link to that uh, at the bottom of the start here page. So there's going to be an intro to the textbook with a link. There's also a link and some information about the textbook on the syllabus as well. So at the beginning of the syllabus, there's some information about the textbook. And so it's going to be a free textbook. So hopefully that'll be good for you. I'm going to provide some additional uh, support and things for, um, for the textbook and, and the lectures and all that as well. So hopefully there will be enough support and enough information. I know the textbook is actually really good. It's through... Uh, the OpenStax uh, Consortium for Open uh, Educational Resources. So it's a good textbook. And uh, the, the syllabus, looking at the syllabus here, so there's a link at the, over on the left of the uh, Blackboard site. So there's the syllabus and a schedule link over there. Syllabus has all the normal information that you usually see on a syllabus. My contact information, my office hours, a course description, and it also talks about the components of, of uh, your grade, uh, which, I'm, which we'll talk about now. So for, I kind of divide things up um, in, in the grading in, in kind of uh, what type of assignment it is or how you get the grade, right? How you get the points. So the first thing that's on this list here are exams, right? So there's three exams that we're going to have in this course. Uh, the exams are going to be for, for students that are taking the course live, they're going to be administered live in class. Okay. For those that are online, the tests need to, be, or the exams need to be taken uh, in a TVCC testing center or with a TVCC testing center approved proctor. So if you can't go to a TVCC testing center, you can set up an approved proctor through uh, the TVCC testing center. They can help get one set up for you. So those are the exams. Uh, they're gonna consist of multiple choice questions as well as workout problems. So the workout problems we do in class, you're gonna see a variation of them on the exams. Um, for weekly assignments, there's going to be discussion posts that you're going to need to be doing for each chapter. They're going to be required this term for both online and live. The discussion posts are, are required points. The discussion posts are going to be, uh, so 
there's two things you need to do to get points for, for each uh, discussion post. You need to post an original thread and then you need to reply to a classmate's posting. Okay, so if, once you do those two things, then I'll be able to grade it and give you some points for the discussion board. Uh, the other thing we're gonna do weekly is gonna be a workout problem. Um, your, the workout problem is gonna be due at the end of the week on Saturday at midnight. Uh, you can submit them in, in many different formats. I just need to be able to open them up to grade them, right? So, so the formats that I like to open up and grade or that I'm able to are gonna be anything in Microsoft, right? So Word, Excel, um, I can open up and, and grade pretty easily the PDFs. Uh, there's also um, some students, or actually a lot of students, will do their workout problem with a pen or a pencil, and then they'll take a picture with their cell phone, or they'll scan it in, um, and then they'll submit the picture and the, or the scan. So that's something that you can do as well. Uh, just one thing to remember on the workout problems, I give you a lot of support and to help make sure you get the workout problems correct. Uh, do your own work for the workout problems. Uh, you can maybe work with a classmate, but make sure you do your own work and submit your own work. So, so anyways, uh, that's not a, it's not a group assignment per se. You can submit your own work on the workout problems. Uh, the next thing that we're going to be grading is a term project. So there's going to be a term project. It's going to be in the form of a blog, right? So there's going to be four postings you need to make on the blog. Uh, four, and what they're going to consist of is four different current events related to macroeconomics. Things we're learning in, in class. Uh, there's some instructions and a rubric that are back on the website that you can refer to to see how I'm going to grade those. Uh, you can use the so here's here's the term project blog link right over on the left in Blackboard uh, so each each of the posts are have their own submission link right uh, and up at the top is the instructions in the rubric uh, for each of these blogs you can uh, use this the link goes into the Blackboard blog tool so you can actually do your blog here right so you got to click create blog entry right and you can uh, use your uh, use the the blackboard blog tool to do that you can also use other uh, blog websites if you like to blog or if you know how to do this that's great go out to WordPress for example or go to blogspot or blogger any of the blogging websites out there, if you want to use those, uh, they're, they're really good and they make your blog look really fancy and nice. You can do that as long as you go back to this link, right? And you actually submit, instead of your whole blog in this link, you actually need to copy and paste the link from that blog website that you're using to this entry and then go ahead and post the entry. Okay. That way, I, when I go and grade, I can see what you've submitted. I can go out to that link and, and read it and grade it and come back here and give you your grade. So that's, that's the term project, four current event blogs. And they're going to be about every three weeks. If you go to the schedule here on Blackboard, this is the detailed schedule. It pulls up as an Excel file you're gonna see that about every three weeks you're gonna have a blog post to, to submit. So on week uh, three, again on week five, uh, there's another one on week seven, and then week 10. So two to three weeks in between those, you're, you're gonna do that for, for your term project. Okay, finally, there is opportunity for extra credit. Okay, so the extra credit for this class, both live and online, is going to be available through doing uh, something called Concept Coach. So we did this for microeconomics last term. So if you took microeconomics, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, uh, go on to the welcome announcement. There's a link there that uh, shows you how to get started with Concept Coach. Concept Coach is a separate login you'll need to set up. 
and it's a it's basically like a a study help okay so as you read through the chapters each chapter has several units within the chapter and that's how it's structured in the textbook each unit within the chapter has concept coach uh, questions right so they're kind of like study questions and as you go through and study each chapter if you go into concept coach you can answer those questions on my side from my side I can go in and look and see where you're at what you've studied the the questions you've answered uh, what you understand what you may be struggling with and that's how you get extra credit so for each unit there may be three or four questions per unit each unit you need to get at least a 60% or higher to get extra credit points for that unit within the chapter you can get up to 10 points per chapter and so if you want to do that it's pretty straightforward and easy once you get that account set up and uh, to get that extra those extra credit points so really there's a uh, there's an option to get about a hundred extra credit points so that's like an exam so if you're struggling if you don't test well hop on the uh, concept coach and use it uh, it'll help you prepare for exams and just understand the content as we go along as well so that's the extra credit uh, in past terms like microeconomics like I said it was actually part of the grade uh, this term I thought you know what we had some problems with concept coach and and it's really just a supporting uh, tool so I'm gonna go ahead and make it extra credit help some students out if they want to put in the extra work and follow along and do the concept coach then that's totally doable so anyways with the concept coach one thing you need to know there really isn't any redos right so you go through it and do it you can't go back in and redo it so what you're gonna really want to do is read the chapter as good as you can study it take some notes whatever you need to do and then go in and take the concept coach for that unit and chapter and that way you can do as good as you as you can just to see okay did I really grasp and understand the information you'll know I'll know and hopefully you'll get some cre extra credit out of it so that's the concept coach that's the term I'm really excited about the term and and using this new textbook it is a new textbook we're using it hopefully it'll help you because it's it's free and it's actually there's a lot of supporting uh, information to help you out and so anyways have a good term